Okay, so for both the Rocket Control Specialist and Electromagnetic Net, Net Specialist, it's both here in the 202 Much Mission. Now, for this mission, I highly recommend you bring along a vehicle, whichever one you prefer. I'm bringing along that Jeep right there. It's the fastest vehicle I have, and you'll see why in just a few seconds. Now, this mission is a little tricky because you have to get to the guy you need to rescue before rescuing any other hostages, but you can't fall to him when you find him because then you can get with the other hostage. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess. And the reason we don't want to leave him there lying where he is right now is because four walkie gears are looking for him. And if you leave him there too long, all four surround him and then a jeep comes and picks him up and it's a whole lot of mess. Okay, so now that we landed, we are going to run to our jeep and instantly head towards the guy that the mission asked us to save. After we send quiet over here to scout out for the other one and you'll see why in a second. But before we get to that, we need to rescue the guy that the mission wants us to rescue, who is in the middle of the sand dunes being looked for by walker gears. So we need to go out there as fast as we can before the walker gears find him, without letting the walker gears find us, because that would mean a whole lot of other mess. So we're just gonna wake our way there. Now here you want to be careful with that sand dune and that outpost right there. Lucky there's a little ramp over here that we can use to go over to the sand dunes right here. And right there you can see the very first walker gear. He's the one that is closest to the guy that we need to get onto our jeep so that they don't find him at all. Luckily they are basically blind at night so we can just go around him. And you also need to be careful not to run over the guy you need to rescue because I'm pretty sure you don't want that. And there he is, right there. Okay, so before we actually rescue him, we're gonna bring him with us. And thanks to the fact that you can actually put people into the jeep. Like so. He's gonna wait patiently until we tell him it's fine or until we get him out. So now that we're ready, here comes a walker gear again. Luckily, we are out of here. And we are off to rescue the first hostage. Technically, second one if you count this guy as a hostage, but anyway. So we are going to work back all the way to the outpost that is for the very first mission of the game. The one that you probably found out a lot of soldiers from and all the other stuff. So, back we go. Okay, now that we're finally here, the good news about this guy is that there are literally only two guards protecting him from this side of the, the complex. The rest are over there on the right or on the far side. Luckily for us, neither of them is aiming in our direction, and they're both in very easy spots to snipe him down. Thanks to our brand new sniper rifle with tank laser gun right there. With a brand new fancy scope that I managed to get. A shot to the elbow, and down he goes in three, two, there you go. So, now that they're down, there is nobody between us and our hostage. Even if your sonar that I'm going to use right here to make sure said there's somebody there. The one over there, right up there, is just a decoy. Judging from the fact that he didn't turn around to hear about the noise. So, the hostage is in here. Right behind the little bar. You are coming with us, little buddy. There's also some resources and a couple of diamonds in here if you want them. Just remember that when you have a hostage, you cannot exit through windows, you have to go through doors. Luckily, as I said, there is nobody here other than those two guards that we already put to sleep, so... We are going to get this guy out here and back to our jeep. Now watch out for the guy on the left, on the other far side of the road. Sometimes he does turn around this way, so if you're running, he might spot you. So be careful about that. Now, we don't actually need to get him all the way back to our jeep because nobody else is there. We can just extract them now. I just wanted to be safe this time around. You never know where also you will actually be looking or some random patrol you didn't see will spot you. So anyway, now that we have him, we can actually Fulton him out. As I've said in the past video, I finally got the wormhole upgrade for the Fulton, which is a little bit ridiculous, but 
It makes it so you can actually extract people pretty much anywhere. Down he goes. Okay, so now that we've got him out of the way, we can actually head back to the dunes and extract this guy right that we've got with us. Now, the reason we can actually extract him then is because the hot zone will include uh, the palace over there, which is where the other hostage is. So we can actually get this guy out of the way so that he's not like hindering us or risk being detected, and that'll make it a lot easier for us. We just gotta work our way over there, make sure we don't get spotted by the walker gears, and we'll be good to go. So as you can see, the metal walker gears are still there, they're still patrolling around, and they're closer together now. Luckily for us, they're looking for this guy, and they have very little view range in at night. Here we're just pondering if we keep going forward. So here I decide that I'm not going to drag this guy all the way over there, so I'm just going to fold in the vehicle, which will also get him out of the way. Now, we could exfiltrate the hot zone just by going back south, but we don't want to do that. We want to get the last prisoner that has been held at the palace. Now, as per usual, the prisoner is being held in one of the little prison cars at the far end. Now, unfortunately, there are about eight guards there that you have to worry about. You can see them all the way over there. Quiet's already tagged, them, tagged most of them for us, I believe, I think. Otherwise, I'm not really sure how they were tagged, but whatever. So we'll just wait our way over there in the same manner when we came for... Ah, who was it? Who was the guy here? Transportation specialist? Mm, maybe? Possibly? I think that was him. But anyway, we're going to wait all the way over there. Now right here, you want to be very careful because past that burned tank right there, there are landmines right there. So we are going to avoid those, and we're going to pick them up because a little free mines and some free heroism never goes bad, especially since the, this prisoner over here isn't in any hurry. Now this time I apparently I didn't pick up the mines, which is odd because I usually do, but whatever. So as you can see, there is a prisoner right there inside the little prison truck. So we're going to come in from behind so that we can snipe as many of them without noticing as possible. Now this does get a little bit more complicated because people see and report and it gets a bit... It could have gotten messier, but in the end we pull it off without a hitch. And here we are. So, as usual, there are guards patrolling everywhere. Luckily, the guy over there on the far left decided to go behind these buildings where nobody else can see him. So we're going to start with him. Down he goes. Then there's this guy with a shield who is always annoying because shields protect him pretty well from the back. So you need to get him in the leg or from the side. Luckily, this thing is pretty powerful, and we're able to do that without much trouble. And that just leaves the rest of them to deal with. 
Including that guy up there and the light who will be alerted eventually. And that guy as well. But for now, they're ignoring us. So we're going to ignore them as well. Start with him at the very end. So far, so good. Unfortunately, the guy at the very top has spotted people falling asleep and is going to report it. I think, if not to run down here anyway. Yep, he's reporting it. Now, unfortunately, Quiet is not you on the sand dunes where she usually is. She decided to try the guy over there. <laughs> but... <sighs> what can you do? The game would do what the game would do. So down comes this guy, who was going to work his way down here, I believe. And they're going to start looking for me. So we're just going to wait here and hopefully ambush them. However, they decide to look for me inside the building for some odd reason. I'm not really sure why that was, but it just was. So we're going to use this opportunity to open up the door over here, I believe. Work our way to, over to the prison truck. I could have been Fultoning all these guys here, but I wanted to do this as quickly as possible, and I wasn't sure if somebody would spot me or not. It goes against me for not Fultoning these guys, because they do eventually start waking up. And this guy moves way too much for me to get a clear shot on him. Luckily, I managed to get him in the shoulder, which helps a lot. A lot. There, down he goes. That just leaves that guy up there, that we have to worry about. Now, I tried to tell Quiet to take him out, but she can't. So I gotta do it myself. So as you can see, they started waking up right as I was coming in. I managed to get that guy in the arm, so that's he's gonna go down very quickly. Down he goes. Now, because I took that guy, I took that guy down as he was reporting in. Command is obviously alerted, but luckily, because of our wormhole technology, we can just extract him in there, and we are out of here. And that is how you get both prisoners from this mission in one go, along with an S rank and Foxhound rank.